Grace and peace to you. Here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. Jesus loves you more than you will know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. God bless you, please, Mrs. Robinson. Heaven holds a place for those who pray. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. We like to know a little bit about your four or fives. We like to help you learn to help yourself. Look around you, all you see are sympathetic eyes. Stroll around the grounds until you feel at home. Where have you gone? Joe DiMaggio, our nation turns his lonely eyes to you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's that you say, Mrs. Robinson? Joe and Joe has left and gone away. Hey, hey. So that song was actually written for the movie The Graduate. But the woman Paul Simon had in mind was none other than the former first lady, Eleanor Roosevelt, a woman Simon greatly admired. He is also a huge New York Yankees baseball fan. So that explains, in part, the reference to Joe DiMaggio, the great New York Yankees center fielder and captain. But the way I hear the song, these references to the Giants in the past cause a kind of melancholy or sadness in the present. They've left and gone away. Times change. Life moves on. Maybe I'm interpreting the song this way this morning because of where I am in my life. This time of year, the kids are going back to school it is exciting, yes. It's also especially nerve wracking because of the reality of the pandemic. And if I'm honest, there's a touch of sadness too. Times change, the kids grow up, life moves on. The Zen Buddhist of Japan Reflect on the impermanence of life, the reality that things change. And they call this sad beauty. It's illustrated by the cherry tree, which blossoms only once a year. Beautiful red blossoms, which then fall to the ground. The Zen point, however, is not to pine away for the past or or regret the fact that things change, but rather focus on the moment with gratitude. Jolt and Joe has left and gone away, but there are other people playing baseball today. There are other experiences that can inspire us with their beauty, for wonders never cease. I could leave it right there. But let me say, to all the parents and caregivers, to all the faculty and staff, and to all the students, I am praying for you, for your health and well-being. May you do the best within you. It's true. Jesus loves you more than you will know. Yes, things change, but nothing can separate us from God's love. May you carry that with you into the start of this year and everything that comes. <laughs>